One driver's 20 years old in Callaway C4 with a carbon face, and one driver took 20 years in the making. This could be a lot of fun. What I'm gonna do is try it out on the course and strokes gained each tee shot to show you the gains in the new to the old, and we've got some indoor numbers as well, which we're gonna go and collect and then show you. What's gonna be the difference? I'm expecting sell definitely to be longer. Because remember, it's 20 years in the making and this club is revolutionary. The other thing as well, which you've got to remember, the face is red. It means it's doing stuff. If it's doing stuff, we can charge more, sell more product. Stealth. VC4, 20 years in the making, 20 year old driver. In those comments, which one will be longer and by how much? I'm going to say stealth has to be longer, but I, I've got to guess how much by. What do you think before we carry on? And then out on the course, which one's going to give me the gains I need to shoot those scores? Let's find out. So stuff looks great. Black to the red does look nice. Shaping of it looks good. You want full reviews on this club? I've got them on my channel. This is more fun compare. Now that's a good hit with stealth on a really aggressive line as well. Oh, that should be gaining. Just because it's got a red face. C4, Callaway, 20 year old, they went carbon. And to be fair, you could argue it didn't go well for them. Not that the club didn't perform. Maybe more that people just didn't like the sound. And that's the thing with stealth that I wonder about. Is it does make that dull carbon sound. What effect will that have for people who don't make that much sound with their driver? Are they going to want something that makes more sound? Obviously, C4 looks much smaller down by the ball. Looks deep, but small. Oh, it's almost the exact same sound. And that is almost the exact same shot. That is going to be a very good hole one comparison. Now, as we go through the video, see if you can outside here, notice in the comments down below, notice what I'm doing different with the stealth to the C4. It's something I do before I hit the ball. It's something I do with the ball. Oh, I don't want to have a guess, see if you can guess what it is. All right, this is what I love about these tests. This, I'm just waving at the green because they're doing some work. They think I'm going to hit them. I'm not going to hit. Um, this is the C4. It's the three. And here, one, two, three, about four paces further forward. It's the stealth. Two good drives. Three strokes gain them. So this drive on the angle that we're playing is 142 yards away. This one is 139 because we're now changing angle. So this one is gaining 0 0.08, where this one is gaining 0 0.09. Two good hits, both exactly as close to that bunker as I would ever try and take it without trying to go over it, which in the summer I would, and not being my first drive as well. Um, and a lot more speed training. 0 0.01, different. Find that one, of course, 20 years. The revolution, yeah, yeah, it's the revolution. Right, C4 first. Mix up the order a little bit. Really close. That first one, I could have re-gripped this one, to be fair. <laughs> this one is uh, definitely needs a little bit of the old spitage to keep it playable. So there's something I'm doing now which is different with each driver, which we'll talk about a little bit more as we go on. Certainly inside will show it. Like it's just a good sound. That's such an arrow. I think that half decent. Like not the best, but certainly not the worst. And it's just a lovely flight. The sound is so similar with both clubs. I think that's what's so interesting with the carbon wood age ideas and claims that's what they're calling this like is this the you know it's a new age and everything's you know like relate to like the stone age and the ice age and stuff like that i mean it's 20 years old in golf terms in golf driver this is like the blooming stone age and <laughs> just because you don't remember or some of the audience might not remember the stone age doesn't mean it hasn't already happened and people have gone that route before 
say what you like, can't you? Mark it in within reason. Oh, that's a bomb. That's got to be like 20 past it. That is a bomb. I've ripped that. So that'll be an interesting, that's a, a rip against an average. Come on, gains. Give me carbon wood age gains. Give me stone age gains. Oh, steps are there. Better not jump off the front of the tea, I? All right, here is the C4 and there is the stealth. It's definitely further on and it's on a better angle. On the angle of the T, I would put it about here. But let's look at the physical yardage. So this one, C4 in the fairway, gaining 0.17. A good gain. Let's walk up to the stealth, get its measurement. And here's the stealth. It's the same ball I'm using with both clubs. This one is gaining 0.2. So this one is only 84 yards out. So 0.13 is 0.1, 0.2. 04 I think at the moment difference in the two drives and that was an absolute bomb compared to an average I'm amazed how well that one's done for an average hit because on the angle of the tee shot we actually would be about here so it would be here because I'm cutting the corner which makes it basically how many yards forwards we measure it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yards forward 20 yards in the making average hit to a bomb on the course like what happens when we play interesting so on that last one stealth definitely came out on top and as i said i'd expect it to be longer just how much bearing in mind the big word used in the 20 yards of development the 20 years of development via a 20 year old club as well the other thing as well which you could argue is that the moi probably is a little bit higher on this club i actually don't know the moi values of both clubs um, and you'll be shocked just how much moi needs to move for it to actually move bear in mind people say they can feel moi if i ever say one feels stable more stable than another it's anecdotal it's what i feel if you actually measure i've done tests where i've looked for moi maybe check the video out search uh, can i find moi mark crossfield you'll find it or i'll put a link in if i remember which i rarely do and you'll find i've used a much lower moi driver i would argue than the c4 over the modern like highest moi ones and i struggled to see the difference over a big batch of shots right stealth to finish then we'll show you the indoor numbers let's see if we can rip another stealth up there yeah not a bad hit like i would give that a 95 percent it's not a, it's not as bomby as the last one but it's middle fairway anyone who's tested this club let me know what do you think of the sound i'd really love to know i mean it's dull it's carbon they both sound that kind of dull almost wood age feeling which is what they're saying carbon age carbon wood age they say uh, i just don't know if everyone's going to like that but i do like it but i also don't mind the titanium ting of a modern driver as well right c4 what can you do in relationship to that shot oh my mic's come off i'm sorry you're gonna hear that i'm just gonna pick my mic up because that was a decent hit again i would say that was a 97 percent let's go and see how they've come out it's the power through the mic off <laughs> right there is the stealth that is the app the stealth one four six out let's give that some strokes gainage so the stealth is gaining 0 0.04 and the c4 which is 138 out both in the fairway i'm hitting fairways today is gaining 0 0.07 so stealth wins overall stealth was one but the difference on those two is very small and if that difference would actually play out over time uh, with all the gains and losses i can make with second shots and chips and putts and all the other things i mean i would just expect it with the words that taylor made used to be a lot more than that and that's not true i wouldn't expect it to be that but maybe some people still are Got a red face after all. 
So you're catching me at the end of a data set here, just trying to get as many numbers as I can with both clubs to show you. What I do, which I just don't see custom fitters do enough, I hit three with each and keep, keep swapping. Make sure I don't get into any patterns of hitting. It is amazing how similar both drivers feel and sound, considering they're 20 years apart. Last few with C4. Can anyone spot the difference between C4 and Stealth with what I'm doing here? Basically, I'm having a tier a bit lower, which we'll talk about. And I think it's to do with the size of the head not being stretched back enough for me to get the most out of it, like that. My modern driver up and almost slightly out and up and out, up and straight swing. High toes is what I often hit, which get great numbers and roll out. It just doesn't work with this one. You've got to center it. And I can't, I don't feel like I can be as up. I add loft like most people do with their driver. Um, and I think this to do with the shape of the head and where the center of gravity is. So what I've worked out is I do have to swing this one slightly different to get the most out of it. And that's neither better or worse, they're just different because the amount of students I get have all different abilities who hit down at the ball, and add little loft to some loft and then hit up. Like it, it's not always so handicap specific. But what it does show me as well, obviously with this driver, if they made it in the modern era, like they wouldn't make it this size, it would, be stretched back more which then would allow me just to swing it how I want to swing it and also when I used to play with heads this size I wouldn't have probably done my modern day driver because I do adapt I am able to like find out how to get the most from a club and you'll find lots of good players do it almost subconsciously they will react if I go and whack lead tape up the shaft here that moves the center of gravity more towards the heel they often find that spot so here we go, let's look at the two numbers. Let's first off focus on the two circles here. And this is definitely what we were seeing outside. Lots of overlapping, slightly straighter data set with the C4, but I wouldn't say that is any straighter than stealth. Like that's so much me playing through. Sometimes in these reviews, people go, oh, look, it went straighter. Ooh, it didn't. If we just get, it went straight on that test of a limited amount of shots. If we play this out over time, you're gonna notice that again, it's me that is the kind of the, the fingerprint across all the numbers. Uh, and I change from day to day. If I just keep repeating and repeating the test, like if that keeps coming out, yeah, you could say that. But I know if I just keep repeating this test, the C4 will have a batch which is more sprayed than the stealth. It's just, it's heads and tails, you know, 10 times flipping a coin, it's heads and tails stuff. So ball speeds, definitely more potential out of stealth, which I'd imagine. Um, let's just look at the club head speed as well. I'm swinging, I'm swinging them both the same speed. Um, definitely less efficiency with the C4, which you imagine, 20 year old driver, less dynamic loft. And my angle of attack, like I said, is less. I'm not able to hit those clubs in the same way. I'm having to slightly adjust to get the max out of them. So launching's a fraction lower, but again, standard deviations overlapping on these two. Spins are pretty much exactly the same. That isn't 200 revs more than that. These standard deviations, again, it's the head and the tails thing. It's just 10 heads or tails that'll flip and move, subject to my strike. And we're looking at four yards on this one with three yards total roll. But again, look at the standard deviations, eight short and long, six short and long, five short and long, six short and long. They are so close. Now, I do think I could repeat that. I reckon I could repeat over and over and over again. I think the stealth will come out, maybe five, arguably 10, but I think 10's a push yards longer. I think a fair analysis of that, even though that data set overlap, as you would imagine, I definitely feel like I would win over time, as you saw outside from the strokes game, just over and over and over again. I'm gonna choose stealth all day long, but that's the 20 year old driver. Basically, if Callaway made that driver again now, it wouldn't look like that. It would have the same materials. They might do other things. But basically, if you get those clubs like for like in size, so I'm able to hit up more and get the high toe low spinners more, you're gonna see exactly the same numbers. And you're, you could argue from that data set, you're gonna, you'll see in the exact same numbers, but you've seen it on the course. We're gonna do a little game just to finish to show you the example. I've got a green at 320, which I can't reach. And this year I wanna try and reach it. It's like my goal. Um, out of the two drivers, if one's gonna reach it, the stealth's got much more chance than the C4 when I'm going at full, full, full speed. 
Amazing how close. What did you guess at the start? All right, just one more go crew, 320 green. I've hit it on the front edge. I think I've hit it through the back with a fake read on the Stealth Plus video, but it was a low spin crazy. Um, full tilt, which one's gonna get there or not get there by the least amount or the most amount subjects, which way you wanna say that. That's a pretty decent hit with Stealth. I don't reckon it's my fastest yet. 110. It's amazing. What's really interesting as well with testing clubs when people say something is four yards different, you know, like those numbers there. Just stopping and talking to camera for that minute and a half, and I already am feeling tight. That's a 110. I know as I get going on these, I'm going to get that up to 112s and 113s. Think about reviews you watch, think about tests that you see. When you're out on the course, what we've noticed and we've done our testing is that inside, I just need to stop and go for a wee and come back, and I go back two mile an hour. Before I get going again. This, this little chat slows me down a little bit. When you're out on the course, and what we know is out on the course, carrying your bag, walking around, which we do more in the UK here, like you're constantly moving and you get to tee shots and you're warm and ready to move a lot more than inside just hitting shot and shot and shot after again. Bear in mind in lots of the reviews, and I do it in, in all the clubs I test how close they are, like really, how, how close are they when they're being filmed also and tested off and not in the real environment with the data? So I mean, four yards further, but you're doing it indoors and I've got no idea if you stop between shots, if you've hit 20 with one and 20 with other rather than changing all those things. Like uh, lots of people aren't testing clubs. You know, they're making videos, they're not testing. Oh, I just towed it, see it turning, twist, that's 111, look. Like that's got the speed to get there, just needs a better stride. Why isn't Twist's face keeping that straight? It's red as well, his face. How can that not stay straight? What we'll do as well at the end is we are adding these numbers to that data set I've just had. So we're growing the data set. This time it's me going at full tilt, which is quite a good thing to do as well, because you don't play every drive the same out on the course, remember. Come on. Oh, it's 111. It's a little low on the face, it's spinnier. Yeah, you see it just dropping and stopping. That's not got that bomb flight. That was speed, 2.8 spin because I called it slightly lower on that face. C4, asking a lot. I have to feel like I'm hitting this almost flat in my pinch. So I don't up is what I feel like, even though I am. And I have to feel I have to hit it more at the heel because if I try and get it where I normally get it, it's at the toe, it just does drop back. One eleven, so I can move these two at the same speed. Look at that one, look. <laughs> like that is not far off the other. One five seven ball speed, two nine spin. I just can't keep the spin down because I haven't got the real estate to the CG to help me out. I don't think. Ah, oh, it's low. Oh, one eleven speed again. Low hit. You see it dropping a bit shorter. It's still doing fine. Two, five, one carry. So it has dropped back three, four spin. So basically stealth definitely when you start pushing to the limits has its advantage, but that's not stealth. That's the fact that it's a bigger, different style of head that allows me to get away with different strikes. You can give me any bigger head where you'd probably see the same differences. That more meaty foul, yeah, one fire, yeah, that was more meaty. Just didn't draw it. Like, I'm not gonna get this green with this club. One, five, seven ball, three, four spin. No, that's good. <laughs> one, twelve club, I moved the club. I didn't quite control the face on that one, just the two, four, six carry. And if we add them into the data set, look, two mile an hour ball speed, nearly crossing over standard deviation. See the spin's gone up because that last one was mental. Um, and we're looking at 10 yards difference. But again, look at the standard deviation overlapping them. I mean, look at the green. It's the longest shot is obviously being with the green, but also that one last one there, the shortest. So modern drivers, stealth being a modern driver, look, you are going to get more this egg shape rather than this tilted egg, if you like, um, which is me, but the club as well. Post comments down below, is that closer than you expected or very similar? I'm going to hit the last few here with stealth because I want this green. I'm not going to get it, but I feel like I'm swinging the little 112s today. 
of these clubs is not bad for me. My driver, that's going to get up to a 115 almost. Here you go. That's not a bad effort, look. Getting close to the 300, 160 ball. The moral for me is if you are going to use a 20 year old driver, yes, you could find some incremental change. You saw the difference on the course. It would play out over a longer period of time. And you could also see how close they were to overlapping these clubs, like they do overlap as well. But modern driver beats 20 year old. But can a 20 year old driver made of carbon compete with the new carbon wood age club with a red face? Like it's almost doing it 20 years ago, which is quite comedy, isn't it really? Oh, speed. Yeah, 112, complete miss it. Just one more. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get up, roll hard, go faster. It's almost a line ball, but it's short. Thanks for watching, post comments down below. What do you think of those two? Amazing, isn't it? It is amazing bearing in mind how aggressive all the companies go with their marketing. And I think how easily people are like persuaded into ideas, because I see it on my socials. Yeah, but this one's this and that one's that. And I just think, wow, you would struggle to get that to play out. But if you want to believe that, that is cool. Don't ever let any of these from any company, Shrixon, Callaway, Taylor, and anyone, let them distract you from the real point, which is you. You can see there what comes out most of all is the club tiny bits and we're 20 years apart with those two what comes out the most is me and my performance or lack of i'm gonna get that green in a minute